is not generally recognized as having expression to such deep truths as those in question. A man by name Paul came one day to Father Antonius, whose pupil he desired to become. He gave the appearance of being a very simple-minded man. Antonius, however, accepted this man as a pupil. We will call him Paul the Simpleton and caused him year after year to carry out certain tasks. I do not think many of you would have enjoyed carrying out the tasks which Father Antonius set his pupil. The latter had to carry water, but in perforated vessels, so that when he reached his destination there was no water left in them, and this he had to do year after year. He had to stitch clothes, and when they were finished, unpick them, again year after year. He had to carry stones up mountains and on reaching the top to let them roll down to their original places. The outcome was that Paul the simpleton underwent a tremendous deepening of soul, and he became aware that forces arising out of his subconsciousness were gradually making him into a man of wisdom. Paul the simpleton became Paul the wise.